Hey everyone, Hi. welcome back. So today we're in Hyde Park in London to visit Winter Wonderland. Now this is becoming a little bit of a thing we do every year. It is in our house. I'm excited because Gabby's no longer pregnant. So she can come into the ice bar with me, so I'm not alone. We're gonna go into the ice kingdom to see how that compares to last year and also some ice skating and just check out what Winter Wonderland is like this year. Is it any better or is it just the same? By the way, there's a snow machine here and every time I start recording, it stops. There might be a little bit of snow in the air. And I mean, I could put that in digitally anyway, but let's go and check it out. So this looks a lot better at night. Obviously we'll be here for when it gets dark. Heading into what I would consider is kind of the main entrance. There are loads of different entrances all spread out around Hyde Park, depending in which area you wish to come into. The first port of call is going to be the Ice Kingdom, which we've got tickets for at two o'clock, which means we've kind of got to go there first. So this is a carousel bar. This is brilliant. It's actually moving, which is not great if you've had a drink because it feels like you're drunk. But look at this. I don't know whether it's made out of an old waltzer or something like that maybe. It kind of looks like that, but maybe not. So you could just stand here basically and have a free ride. When you've had a few drinks, it's difficult to step off correctly without falling over. So a great place for the little ones, Santa Land. I'll head in there in a little bit. And what's great about Santa Land are the Christmas themed rides. Just over there, we'll have a look at it a little bit later, but there's a Christmas tree ride. And I booked tickets for this and I had to book a time slot for two o'clock. So we're just heading into the Ice Kingdom right now. Gabby is joining me. So last year they had a slide that was made out of ice and wearing jeans, I didn't go down it very fast. I am so excited, but the main reason I'm excited is because this year I'm going down the slides. Yeah, and I could. couldn't go down last year because I was expecting we went last year, they had some ice thrones that we got to sit on, do you remember that? Yeah, I remember being <laughs> terrified I was gonna slide off the throne because it was slippy. It'll be interesting to see if it's exactly the same as last year or if they mix it up a little bit. So last year, we were queuing to get in and because this is opening day, there's no queues. Obviously this is shut to keep it nice and cold. As we head in, wow, look at that cauldron, all completely made out of ice. The artists that sculpted these are very talented. I mean, just the attention to detail with the hat and even the little frozen bits of ice coming off it. So normally it is so busy in here, but because we've come on opening day, it is so quiet and I'm literally not scrapping with other people to go and look at the ice sculptures, which is quite nice. Wow, look at that. That is one big ice throne. All of this is ice. Absolutely incredible. So I do remember some of these from last year. That is amazing. I like how they've done clear ice as well as frosted ice, if that's a word. Look at that. I really want him a little boy to see this, but can you believe it? He's actually asleep. <laughs> Let's have a walk through here. Isn't this pretty? Oh, you're coming right up to the chillers up here. It's blooming freezing. And how on earth did they put all this in here? Did they build up over it or place it in afterwards? That's the question. But yeah, you can touch the ice. In fact, this doesn't really feel like ice at all. It feels just like solid glass block. So I believe just through here is the ice slide. As you look through these holes, look. Oh, dead skeletons. What are they, dead bats? Wow, look at that. It is advisable, obviously, to wear a nice thick jacket when you're coming in. Gabby's got the right idea. 
You look nice and toasty compared oh, to me. Stuff, it's so warm. Look, we're in a church. It's this way, Gabby, to the slide. Now, Gabby, I think this is slightly different compared to last year. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, so this year it's got a tunnel. Oh, I, do you know what? Last year it was bigger, and this year it's pretty small. I'll go this side, you go that side, okay? I really don't <laughs> want a cold bum, actually. Are you ready? I think I'm going to go flying, aren't I? I've got jeans on, you're going to go a lot faster. Here we go! Oh my God, I am going so slow. Yep, I'm going so slow and my bum's getting wetter. <laughs> All right, so I'm being honest. Last joking? year was so much better. No, this year is better. It has a tunnel. Sort but of. last year's went for longer and it kind of went down at an angle. Oh. You go, Gabby's going on it again. <laughs> so last Oi. year it was pretty good. They had an ice throw and this year it's a winter carriage and uh, one of the staff members is going to take a photo as well. What's really good is they allow you to take photos with your phone rather than a professional yes. photographer that charges you on the way out. Nice touch. I thought all these were like the little flowers, like they're hanging down over there, but they're not. If you touch them... No. Snow thumpies! So as you come out of the Ice Kingdom, you can learn how to ice sculpt. You get a block of ice and you do what they do. Oh, a sad little lonely Christmas tree on its own. So we've got the ice bar book. Now you didn't do that last year. It was no. a lot of fun, but also quite expensive for what it is. But before we do that, we thought we'll go and take a look around the food area, which is called the... Um, the food area? No, the Bavarian Village, I think it's called. Ah, Bavarian that's Village. It. And as you come in here, look, they've got a massive area where there's entertainment going on. German entertainment. Look at this. huge stage up there and people sitting here eating their food it's kind of like a buffet and you'll see these everywhere here the sauce and the mayonnaise so it's all about really what kind of food you're after pizza and pretzel they've stacked it high here all of this crepe bar over there i'll tell you what though it is um quite pricey oh these are pretzels that are like pizzas wow that's cool Wow, that's amazing. They smell amazing. I'm not quite sure about the price though. Oh, this smells amazing. Look at that. There's another huge area where you can sit, have some food. More live music happens there as well. But the theming, again, is brilliant. Oh, wow. How cute are these? How different are these if you want to get a little bit more relaxed and chilled? Almost like sitting in a little cabin. So Gabby is hungry for some sausage. All right, so you've got an original, smoky, farmer, which is spiced, or you can get a plant-based sausage. But look at the prices, 15, Jeez. 14, 14 pound for a big German sausage. Let's hope that comes with a bread roll. Oh my gosh, well, I've got to do it. I want one. Is that sauerkraut? I don't know. So I was expecting this to be like a hot dog. Um, yeah, so did I. But obviously this is how it comes. It should be interesting. All right, Gabby's going to try her sausage. Okay, go on then, try the sausage. So what kind of sausage did you go for? Well, just the original, really. Just the original it's sausage. Amazing. Original sausage. Out of 10, what would you give it? 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10, that's not that great. Is that sauerkraut? This is onion. Oh, it's onion, is it? I thought it was like sauerkraut. And there's also mushrooms, really random. So all of that cost how much? 14 pounds. 14 pounds. Well, actually, it's probably better than just a hot dog because you're actually getting yourself more of a meal then. You for can 14 get pounds. chips with it as well, but you can pick two sides. All right, for 14 pounds, actually, uh, that's not too bad then, is it? If you've got a big family though, it soon starts adding up. Yeah. So something else we've just noticed, a distinctive lack of Christmas songs, Gabby. Do you not agree? I mean, oh, there's, God, there's yeah. just pop music playing and we want some, uh, some Christmas music. Where's Shaking Stevens when you want him? And just as we said that, the music's actually changed to something a little bit more festive. So I take it back. 
So here's the mulled wine in these big old copper vats. Look, you've got toffee, apple cider, hot apple mulled wine, and the classic mulled wine. Yeah, How so cute are these? Obviously a five pound deposit, so I don't nick them, but if I wanted to, it's gonna cost me a fiver. <laughs> So I've gone for the classic mulled wine with a shot of amaretto and Gabby's gone for the hot apple mulled wine. Gabby? Wow. There you go. That is so cool. Try it. Tell me what you think. Oh wow. Is it like Christmas in a cup? Literally, like, you know when you just eat the inside of an apple pie and it's really tarty, really strong. Cheers Gabby. Ching. Oh yeah. With that extra shot of amaretto, it makes it even more festive. Hmm, that's like Christmas in a cup. Oh wow, I remember this from last year. Look, they're doing grilled salmon. This smells amazing. Look at that. Where they put the salmon up against the fire like that. Now that is one way to cook some salmon. So in a roll, £9.50, or you can get it as a platter for £16. That is so much higher than the one I went on in Birmingham. That is so much higher. Where's the ice bar, Gabby? The ice bar is number 25, which is near the Ice Kingdom. So we've just done a loop for no reason. Right. What's handy, they're these maps around the park. So you can see exactly where you are, where you're going. You just come from the, uh, the food village. You've got all the fun fair rides. You've got the ice rink down here. We'll go and check that out later. A traditional fun fair. Got the circus, Santa Land, and, um, Bar Ice, which is where we're heading to next. Yeah. Thank you. So you might have a nice woolly coat on, but they do give you gloves. Yeah. Thank you. This one mine. I Thank you. But I'm gonna look like really big. Because I've got a big coat and a massive coat. I should be tasty. I can't move. I don't know how I'm gonna drink my drink. Ready? This is my first time in an ice bar and I've always wanted to do it. So is it all it's cracked up to be? Let's find out. Go on then, you go first. Okay. Ladies first. Nice photo wall. Oh, thank you. Awesome. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Got I your got token. My token. <laughs> Woo! And it smells of alcohol as well. <laughs> Woo! Okay, I'm cold and I have two great big coats on. Yeah, I've got two big coats on as well. Oh, it's kicking in here. You can sit in these little booths. Wow, look at that. And all these, these little bars, there's a lot of music playing. We go up to the bar with our token and we order a drink. I'm gonna go for the mojito. Now the problem I have with these is it's sticking to your lips. The whole bar is actually made out of ice as well. This is, oh my God, oh my God. it's so slippery, I can't hold on to it. Oh, look at that, completely and utterly frozen. Okay, I think we should go and sit in here. Cheers. I could taste the ice on the glass, I could get my mouth oh, around it. Mine was good, it's got mojito, so it's got a bit of, um, they put some sugar around the top. Really nice. Ooh. If you suffer with cold sores like I do, with extreme temperatures, this is not good for your lips. And by the way, you don't actually sit on the ice. There is a plank of wood here. Although it still is on the ice, it's on a blank of wood. Thank God, otherwise you'd have wet thumbs. Would you say an ice bar's worth it? The experience well, I, I think, is good. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a great experience. Even though I've got my gloves on, my hands are still cold. And I guess the best thing, the staff don't have to worry about cleaning the glasses because they just throw them outside down melt. The ticket price does include that drink. You don't have to pay extra, but you can pay extra for extra shots, which Gabby's not going to do. My hands are so cold. Weirdest thing is, is when you come out of the ice bar, you feel warm outside. Although that's a great experience, I've done it once. I don't feel like I needed to do it again. I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't mind doing it again, actually. It wouldn't be Christmas without some roasted chestnuts. Look at those. Snow, Gabby, Gabby, the snow, the snow, the snow, it's snowing. It's fake snow, but it's... It's now stopped. They're like, let's snow machine out for two seconds and then they stop it. And Look, you've got some on your head. It's like, quick, get under it, get under it. There you go. It's snowing. Gabby, it's snowing. Get in the snow. It's snowing. Why don't they keep it going for a little bit longer? Oh, I know, they're so tight. How pretty are these Christmas trees? Okay, so I've got tickets booked for the ice skating. Then we go. That's quite nice. In the queue, 
they've got little Christmas trees. So depending on what time you come, it can get very busy. Obviously we've come on opening day just before, um, oh look, a little bit, just before five o'clock. After five, it gets a lot busier. Sponsored by little, if you haven't guessed. So this is where I pick up my skates. Second pair of skates I've got because the first ones were broken. Everybody's in the same predicament. I'm trying to walk on rental skates, or well, trying to walk on any ice skates are difficult. Once again, like last year, they got a problem with leaves on the ice. A big problem. Have you ever ice skated on leaves before? Trying to not fall over is a skill in itself. If you come to Winter Wonderland, although it's quite pricey, you must come ice skating. It's outside. The only weird thing is, is all the leaves under the ice, which don't look very festive. <laughs> and obviously it's better to go ice skating at night, but enough tiring, especially with uh, these skates. You really use muscles you didn't think you had. So Winter Wonderland really comes into its own at night. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a walk around the old traditional fun fair and then walk around the Christmas market that they've got here. Makes you think, bearing in mind we're walking on grass right now, how long this must have took to lay down. Obviously it can get very pricey when you start going on all of the rides. I don't think I could do that. He's go straight to now at the entrance to the park I talked about a carousel bar that's nothing compared to this look how cool this is so it's a carousel that's going pretty slowly and you can actually get your drinks just up here but there's a DJ in a Christmas suit and he's a DJ and Dexter in a waltzer how cool is that it's all of these seats are in old waltzers so good. So they've got a Christmas market here, the Angels Christmas Market. And yeah, there's some foodie stuff, but there's also some wallets, jewelry. You can't beat a good Christmas candle. I know that's flickering, but these are LED lights, super bright. Very nice and festive. They're weird. And right in the middle, you can get a hot chocolate around the Christmas tree. Look at these Christmas decorations. <laughs> That's really good. I like that. It's nice it's all segregated in different zones rather than spread out and a bit of this and a bit of that everywhere. So you can really spend your time and get lost. And one of my favorite areas to come is the fire pit bar and stage. Huge fire pit, look at that. You can get warmed up in here. And they've also got live music out here of an evening as well, which is pretty good. No one dancing though. Right, I'm also going to show you uh, Santa Land because the rides there are so unique. Christmas rides, you don't get them very often. That slide, wow. I bet that's pretty fast and pretty also tight in there. Is that a jet ski? That is a jet ski. Like, this is like the, the biggest fun house like, I've ever seen. How amazing is this? Look at that. They've got a fair few coasters to check out. I can't film on them, which is a little bit of a shame, and to be honest, it starts to get really expensive when you do the things I've already done, and then start to go on rides as well. So just now walking up to the famous Munich looping coaster. 
My first memories of Winter Wonderland were this looping roller coaster and I'm so glad it's still here today. Don't know if my back could handle it. Thor's Tippy Bar. Let's go and have a look in here. Oh wow, this is very festive in here. Everyone crowding around the fire pits. Look at that, it looks well nice. There's a couple of fire pits in here. Health and safety though, you can get pretty close to them. Now I know this is not very Christmassy, but every year this looks amazing, the Haunted Mansion ride. Look at that. So walking up to the giant wheel, the city star. I went on that last year, you do get some great views over the park. And it's fair to say, it's the biggest wheel I've ever seen. The camera doesn't do it justice. I mean, just how big this thing is. I mean, you can see the whole of uh, the London skyline whilst going on this as well. There's normally big queues for this. There was last year when I went on it, it was around about, you queue in there, and I was queuing for around about an hour to get on it. That's a good idea. Power banks for your mobile phone. I was going to say that to you earlier. I was like, oh my God, that is so handy. And this always looks so good. The Arctic Lodge. And there's like little huts and stuff like that. All covered in snow. And we normally see people up the top there who think they're really cool and stand there and have a drink. That's going to be us in like 10 minutes. I wish. I wonder if I can actually go upstairs. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's closed, I can't go up there. I can't look cool. Now that is a really nice Christmas tree. Size of the baubles. People asked me about this last year. They do have a Santa's Grotto here. Right, I've got to show you in Santa Land. If you've never seen Christmas themed rides before, you're missing out. There is a real ice slide here. I bet that costs a fortune to keep it cold, especially on mild winter days like we have here in the UK. Bit of a queue here for that. But this ride is brilliant. You sit in your own ball ball and you can control if it goes up or if it goes down. Amazing. What's happened to that Christmas tree? Is that more than one Christmas tree? It's like loads of Christmas trees stacked all together. Ah, oh, the lights aren't on though. Santa on the top there, he's facing the other direction, but he's definitely there. This entrance has been here for years, but when you come in during the day, it's not as impressive as it is at night. The circus is over there. Yeah, they've got a circus in Winter Wonderland, if you didn't realize. Gabby is going for a hot chocolate shot. That's like pure Belgium dark chocolate. Look at your lips. I bet what I was going to say, I bet I've got chocolate around my lips. Wow, the white chocolate one looks so good. And I'm going for a Nutella hot chocolate. Thank you. Look at that. First time for everything. I've never had a Nutella hot chocolate before. This is going to go all over my nose. I'm not ever exaggerating. This is the best hot chocolate I think I've ever had. Well, that's good because it's probably the most expensive you've ever had. Well, no, it's not. Compared, to, there are some others around the park that I think were about seven or eight pounds. So this was six, and I got cream and marshmallows. So definitely a winner. Well, for two hot chocolates and one shot of chocolate, it cost eighteen pounds. So this is our third year coming to Winter Wonderland. Does it still impress you, or have you seen it all before? Obviously we've seen it all before, but it's still great to walk around it again. You know, it's a fresh year um, and it just gives you a good start to Christmas, really. It does. As always, it is blooming expensive. It's advisable to pre-book the Ice Bar and the Ice Kingdom because they sell out quite fast at specific times. Obviously, if you're going to book on a weekend, on an evening, it's going to get very busy and probably you'll have to book in advance, especially like for the ice skating as well. But if you did like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. So thanks for watching. We're going to go and get some, uh, some food now. We'll see you later. Cheers.